this is not talking about what happened between Angela and Angelica. These names. What's angelic about you? Angelica Pierce, if this is not indicative of what just happened, check it out. Seven of Wands and Venus. I'm flicking through the book. Hold on. Hold on. Okay, there we go. Seven of Wands, which is Seven of Club. Seven of Clubs in the Venus period says... This period could bring challenges or obstacles to your most heartfelt desires. Doing my work. Really, really, really. Now I'm that teacher, but I'm a divine teacher that I always wanted to be since I was a child. I never saw how it was going to play itself out, how it was going to work itself into my life. I thought I had to go to college and do all this and then be teaching public school. Then I realized I don't want to deal with no badass kids. So I didn't, I just, you just never know how God is going to work it all out for your good. Glory be to the most high son. It says this could manifest as an argument with a woman or a loved one. Now here's what's crazy. The argument with Angelica Pierce was so fucking like retarded. I initially was calling her to say, I don't feel good. And the, I just talked about almost falling yesterday and starting to have one of the neurolog neurological fits coming on. So after the sequence of events that happened, why would I try to put myself out there in that heat exposure, which definitely affects people with lupus and children's. Okay. Since the doctors want to like, oh, we're not going to say you really have lupus. You're a six. So you're borderline. Like what the fuck is you talking about? That's neither here nor there. So I'm telling her like she can hear you. Okay, I guess I'm going to play it for you guys. It's time to play it. Time to play it. So here I'll be right back because I don't want to go too far. Well, Spirit said just keep, keep going. So let me play it. This was the call to Lincoln Park's leasing office speaking, asking to speak to Angelica Pierce, the now community manager who took over for Sharonda Womack and that called my daughter at around 8.30 in the morning when I was knocked out, finally trying to sleep and can't breathe and talked to her about setting up another appointment to allegedly correct the rent. Correct the rent to complete the actual certification for 2021-2022 term. Here's what happened. See, what you're not going to do is lie and pretend like, oh, Miss Fontenot was this and that and the other whoop the wop. Yes, I will chop Terrence Martindale, T, the actor, the ex-husband, all the way live at five. Yes, I will shoot you off with his motherfucking head because he constantly playing these narcissistic ass games. But no, I know how to handle myself when it comes to talking business. Okay, so here it is, y'all. I think I'm still on the, the Bluetooth. Yeah, here we go. Here you go. Yeah, I'm breathing. Sound like a prankster. I can't breathe. I was calling to speak to Angelica Pierce, please. She knows who I am. Okay, well, what is it regarding? And you are? I'm Janice. And you are? I just told you, Elizabeth Fontenot returning. Oh, Elizabeth. Angelica okay, one second. You see? So this female named Janice took over Cindy's because she's the leasing person. So when you, you was to try to move over here, that's what you would speak to. Okay. Yeah. So you see how it started. Okay. I'm not, I didn't been living here too long. I'm not going to sit up and tell you always oh, because of this reasons and that reasons for what, if you not Angelica Pierce, 
Why would I need to tell you the rundown? Keep listening. Hold on. Mind you, while the whole music is going, she didn't already let her know it's me. And so you can see how Angelica was already, what's that word? Primed to, to, to answer the call in the energy she was in. Oh gosh, I can't see. Oh yes, Miss Pierce. This is Elizabeth calling you back. Um, in regards to the conversation that you had with my daughter earlier, and um, in regards to the the whole 2021 recertification. Yes, ma'am. And um, now you tell me why would she say yes, ma'am? When I tell you, because you're the actual person I'm calling to speak to, what I'm calling about, what is the dead silence? This is when, you, oh, yes, uh, I had to, I spoke with Ashley because we received her emails and um, we wanted to go ahead and correct everything, guys. We have the paperwork ready for you guys to sign. And so it, uh, is there, are you guys going to still be able to come in, such and such? That's how this call should have went. Look how it actually did go. We've sent the series of documents and everything via email and wanted to know, I wanted to know because she didn't, I have not been well. And so she um, did not disturb me to tell me about the conversation this morning. And I'm just reading it through a text she sent me and um, just wanted to. The conversation was just us setting up a meeting for Thursday at 3 p.m. Right. So now, I promise y'all, I told my daughter that when that lady, this Angelica Pierce called her, she should have did the same kind of a very clear recording like I just did. She know how to do it. She should not have talked to her through the recording that is attached to our phones that always messes it up. And I, eventually I'm going to uninstall that shit because it ain't no damn good. So she has a recording of what her conversation actually was. So that would be her thing that she got to do and add in whatever Angelica was saying because it still need to be out. But to put it in a, in, a, in, a, in a gist of what happened, she called Ashley's number to speak to Ashley, but yet I had already called in and left a voicemail that the, that water drip thing is happening. So I'm under the impression that I should receive a call back or either maintenance knocking on the door, maintenance, Maybe you're not going to call back and I go, okay, Miss Fontana, we wrote it up, but maintenance will be there, but maintenance shows up. But no, you called my daughter to let her know that all the stuff she has compiled in the email for us to get ready to actually go to court. Some way, somehow, somebody that's over you, the puppet master that's, 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 that's controlling your streams have told you where we're not actually going to take her to court. Uh, we didn't think she was going to be this smart and this wise and this fucking cunning and crafty. So put another notice on her dough, say that we want to deal with her again about the delinquent rent. So I told my daughter to respond to that notice, which came August the 11th. And it stated, we would like to speak to you about your delinquent rent. Now that already struck me wrong because what you mean delinquent? We're not in delinquency about anything. What you have done is purposely and maliciously and through retaliation of me doing all the necessary steps that I needed to do to prove to you that my household had toxic mold. And now I'm doing it again. To prove what I said, that just because you put me from one unit to another unit, I'm in the same complex. Every time I use this thumbnail with the Lincoln Park uh, sign, you can see mold on it. That's all black mold growing on the sign that you can see from the street for West Little York. So it's like, it's like letting you know you don't want to come in here. You don't want to come in here. These apartments only have one window per room. 
the air conditioning it's within the air conditioning it's really making me feel like this is some kind of they clone tyrone experiment that they put toxic shit in there to see if it's gonna make us go crazy see if it's gonna if some of us just gonna die we couldn't take it or what because i don't understand that i've lived in old ass apartments before and don't understand that how this one was bulldozed from all the way from how they used to be to this. Like they, they, they hit them to the slab and rebuilt them. So what did you do within the HVAC system, the air conditioning system? Where is this water source coming from? Where is this freaking mold coming from? What is this stuff blowing out that we're, I mean, breathing right up in our system? Where is it coming from? What is the source? It's deeper than you saying, oh, we just need to, Clean out your air conditioning ducts and you'll be just fine. We've already went through all those steps. There was a guy that came in here and did another inspection. We've had three inspections in a year. When Dr. Candace Matthews is literally saying that that's what happened at South Lawn, that they was doing these illegal inspections. Yes. See, everything you're doing in the dark is going to always come to the light. You just never knew who you was moving in. You just never knew what type of spiritual goons is got my back, front, side to side, and all around. Okay? Yes. I mean, it just makes me mad, y'all, that my eyes, I've used this little visine stuff, and it literally made my eyes worse. It's like a film over my eyes. You know? And now they really, really is itching. I'm trying not to itch them. This stuff ain't no good. Throw it away. I just heard a spirit say, this stuff ain't no good. Throw it away. Where'd I stick it at? It makes me mad, y'all. Because our health is being affected. And so now you want to try these tactics with some bogus-ass rent? This shit is bogus. You made the criteria for how what it takes to get over here. How you going to turn around and go, oh, well, um, well, for you, we changed our mind. You and many other tenants over here, we want to overcharge our rent. So we didn't, we don't, we don't, we didn't do nothing and buy the book. We don't do what we want to do. Pay us this rent or get out into the streets. But yet we living in mold. So what was the purpose of those inspections? What I was asking is on our last conversation between you and I, you stated that you speak to your superiors in regards to what happened when Sean Rundle Womack was here and whoever else was involved in the um, sequence of events that led to our transfer from 1904. And we never, I never heard anything back from you, which is weird that I know I left a message about the air conditioning over that over thing, um, whatever it's called, in the tub leaking, you know, horribly. And I thought See, the call was I even said it in this call. It's strange because I left my own personal phone number. But y'all called my daughter's number while she's at work and she works from home. So um, when I last spoke with you, you stated you had to get in contact with whoever's over you in regards to the file, our file. And when did you speak? When did we speak to each other? <laughs> you don't recall speaking to me at all Hold when you first came over here? I got it right here. See the games? So who hired you to take Sharonda's position, this Janice character to take Priscilla's position to do the same damn thing? I can't, oh, I pray in the most high name that my ancestors, oh, I can't wait to see Dr. Candace Matthews at this complex right here. I can't wait. I'm going to wheel it in. I can't wait. And, and Angelica Pierce, I hope you here too with your little kickstand, Janice. I hope you still here. Yes, all y'all coming down. Yes, indeed. When did I speak to her? Hold on. I'm going to tell you the date. That inspection happened June 12, 2023, the one I'm talking about, where you can hear him saying, oh, yeah, that, that moldy smell right there, they just got to clean your air conditioning ducts. Okay, yes, here we go. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold what you got. Hold on, y'all. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. April 21st, 2023, me and Angelica had a phone conversation about this same thing. April 21st, 2023, you're going to hear her say she was just hired April 14th, 2023. Lincoln Park. That's what I'm asking. When was it? We spoke. If I spoke with Dawn, March 2023, whenever you came to take over, that's when I spoke to you and you proceeded to put the notice on the door July 26. So in between March and July, so it's probably around, I don't know, April, May, June, something like that. I got the exact time and stamp, but that's neither here nor there. We spoke okay. and you stated to me you'd have to speak with whomever would have given you any authority to do this or that to take the next step. It was a very pleasant conversation it was. Um, it from was you at that time. And so you never called me back or we never spoke again. And I was expecting something to come on the door, like something written, but not in the way that it did come. And it was a notice that came on a Friday, the 26th, if I'm not mistaken, July. That stated you got 24 hours to call about your rent. Now you put it on the door on Friday. So I'm thinking, first of all, I'm very, very ill. And I'm not going to be letting unnecessary stress rile me up and have me with a stroke in the hospital. I'm not going to let that happen because I'm having a lot of difficulties within my nervous system and my health. So I never responded, but I was told to go ahead and put everything in writing once again. My daughter compiled everything because she is the person receiving the income. Then we, we sent it out. Okay. You guys got that. And how we know we got, you got it. Well, oh, then I skipped something. Somebody named Kevin Fulton, Fulton, you guys have been working with a law firm. There was another notice that had that on their stating 30 day notice to vacate. From there, that's when my daughter compiled everything because now she has something more tangible to show that you guys are making certain types of moves. With that being said, I'm, I'm like, I don't understand what this is. I don't get what's going on, but something strange is happening. That this is this vicious, okay. this is game that y'all like to play. So I'm when not I, exactly sure what's going on either, Miss Fox. Right. Um, if we did speak in April, I was hired on April the 14th, which means I was very unfamiliar with your situation. I do apologize for not getting back to you. And, you know, yeah, as soon as possible, no, 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 I'll have a qualm. Uh, no, I'll have a qualm with that. Want to get the right. No, there's no... We have received an email from Ashley, so that's why right. I did give her a call back. Yeah, but look, she let's, she let's, 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 let's calm the energy down. I have no beast with you. No, no, I, no I'm calm. Right. I'm just, just I, I, like I said, whatever day that... How you come and you speak in like a... Road, road, road runner. Where's the energy coming from? Okay, you know what I'm saying, and you know what I'm out, and I'm sorry I didn't call you because you know I just was hired on the the 14th, and I mean I was very unfamiliar with your case, and I, 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 that's how you're talking. Why am I talking so slow? Cause I barely just woke up, y'all. Y'all don't sleep at night, cause I can't breathe, and I'm sneezing all the time, and go, and this stuff is so bad in this apartment that is affecting me. I didn't went through it enough to know this is this apartment that's affecting me this bad like this. So I don't sleep. Okay. So you maybe some mold in that damn office. Cause I know that office she's in, it smells just like these apartments. When we was talking to Don that day, March, 2023, I was like, what is that funky mildew ass odor? I'm telling Ashley that as Dawn left out to go get a, a file or whatever, she went out of her office. I'm smelling. I'm like, what is that smell? It smelled just like our apartment. And it was hot in there. Yes. So she just, a million miles just running. And then you're like, okay, okay. I'm speaking slow because I cannot breathe. So I have to literally like, okay. And so the reason why, and right? 
but because I'm getting, I'm feeling her energy and how she's really like, okay, whatever, what you calling me for? Right? So was I supposed to meet you at your energy? That's what actually ended up happening. And this is what I really need to work on about myself when people come at me wrong. And it's black people. I'm so sick of it. They hire black people to hurt, harm, and injure their own people. It's no amount of paycheck you can pay me to sit behind the desk and know how what all fuckery going on, and I'm going to be down with it. No, I believe in karma. For real. And I ain't finna play no games like that. No, Siri Bob, because you don't get your karma maybe today, tomorrow, but it'll come back around. You see, Sharonda Womack is no longer here. And from what Dr. Candace Matthews was saying on her video, that Cheryl Rivers is allegedly no longer here. So you're not safe. You part of the agenda. You understand that? Now she claiming she has somebody at her desk. When we were speaking with Don, Don was professional enough to, to there was nobody else that was going to come in and disturb and do any of that. Whenever we spoke to Sharonda in that office, she never like communi communicated about other stuff. If she came in, if, if Priscilla came in to tell her like, okay, the paperwork, and and and, and uh, that's when Shawanda was like, okay, set it there. Okay, we have Miss Fontenelle, and then and then and So for her to claim that she took this full conversation, she could have told Janice, please let Miss Fontenelle know that I'm in a meeting right now with someone right in front of me, and I will give her a call back. That's what that could have happened, which I wouldn't expect you to call back. Because that's the tactics that they pull. But why was she, uh, who is this, and doing all this? Now I'm fixing to address that situation at hand. Meaning, when I try to call you back, or when I try to call to this office, who is this Janice character and her attitude? That's what's fixing to be talked about now. The Janice person is, Miss Spears. I'm just going to say, no, I'm saying whoever this Janice person is, she just said Janice. She didn't give her last name. I'll call you by your last See, she think I didn't catch what she said. When I said, and I don't know who this Janice person is, she's my Miss Janice. I catch everything. But my job is not to sit up there and, and go toe to toe with you. I'm going to let you set your own self up for failure. That's, see, that, see, you don't understand my spiritual goons. Okay? They're wickedly excellent. I heard her say, uh, Miss Janice. Now, why she try to flip the script and literally say, oh, no, I thought you said the least scene. Oh, I thought you said whoever the least scene person no, no, Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Oh, no, that's her name. Right, right, right. Janice, yes, oh, what Janice. I'm saying? I'm playing the role right with her. I'm playing the role right with her. I heard you say, Miss Janice. I didn't say, I didn't, you see, this is what I'm telling you, you're going to go through if you try to come living over here. I don't give a damn what you're going through. Figure it out. I promise you, I'm going to continue to campaign against Lincoln Park when I'm away from here. Y'all don't even understand. Trying to put some debt against my name that I don't owe you? That my child technically don't owe you because when you spoke to her, you said, I'm going to, I'm wanting to talk about Elizabeth's rent. And Ashley said, that's what the little conflict was because she said Elizabeth's rent. And she said, I'm the only one that has been frequently and consistently working since me and my mama has occupied Lincoln Park apartments. Period. Right? I'm the only one that has been. Uh, uh, clocking in at somebody's company and the IRS taking taxes out of my money that you guys can go and look at and see the roster and what what what, what company was what what company paid what what happened when and what year and what so why are you saying Elizabeth's rent so I'm telling I say baby when you gonna believe me when mama tell you that this is spiritual warfare when you, powers and principalities they're merely puppets pawns in the game Hey, your name is Angelica Pierce. I'm going to address you by your last name. What I'm saying is that when people are calling um, on that phone, I... Mind you, she heard that girl call me Elizabeth. She heard everything. If this is my desk right here, and 
Ashley's desk is literally where the bathroom is. That that close. How did I not hear Ashley talking rudely to a tenant calling in? How did I not hear Ashley tell that tenant, oh, Elizabeth, up uh, and put it on hold? I'm right here. I heard what you said, how you was talking to Miss Fontenot. I've lived here this long to where I noticed that there are certain people that they kick out. Cindy's no longer here. They kick them out. They know how to respect people on the phone. And then they replace it with people you like know, her. And well, she was, I, I don't know anyone from this company or anyone from previous management. Oh, or okay. Well, let, let, Janice doesn't know anyone. Okay, so well, there's no just, being played or anything. Let, her and Janice don't know anyone within what? Orion Group? Or Housing Authority? What are you talking about? That's who you work for. Sharonda Womack worked for the Houston Housing Authority through Allied Orion Group. It's all connected. 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 So what was she talking about? I don't know anyone at all. Well, how did you find out about the job? And why was you not thinking that you was going to get into all kind of stuff here at Lincoln Park with all the mess that has been going on? And then you talking to people stupid when they call on the phone to handle to talk about business or notice that you got your John Hancock on that says you got 24 hours to respond. That's your name on there. You understand what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Let me explain something. I'm, I'm right, right. And I'm explaining to you that the way she just answered the phone, this, this, I'm telling you about me as a tenant. This is what's caused me to put a series of emails in regards to certain people talking to me certain ways because what they'll do is you're creating a hostile situation. Just like you said, you don't know what happened with the previous situation. And this is what me and you spoke about. And that's when I just called and I said, may I speak to Miss Pierce? Um, who's calling and all this back and forth ghetto talking and snapping? I don't do that. I don't operate that way. I'll put things in writing. So when her, when I called that phone, I didn't, I didn't tell her the whole, oh, I'm Miss Fontenot. I don't need to tell you that Miss Pierce knows who I am. If you say Elizabeth Fontenot were calling back from the conversation this morning, that's all you had to do. That snapping back and forth, don't do that because I put things in writing. And I will set things in force where you'll know, oh, she did catch me talking like that. Yes, she did because you're not going to play with me. And then she hung up the phone. She hung up the phone. So, who hires a new community manager and a new leasing agent here at Lincoln Park Apartments to harass and create a very hostile work environment for themselves and living environment for the tenants? Who's behind that? Who is the real, true puppet master? So, anyway, y'all... That was that conversation that it, 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 it said the argument with the woman. You would have an argument with the woman. That's who that was. That's who that was. So it says right here, this can manifest as an argument with the woman or loved one. You may be the subject of gossip or have opposition to plans, especially related to your love life. You can transform any negative experiences now by elevating your attitudes and letting go of fear and attachments. Bear in mind that your own plans may not be the best for you right now. That something better is possible if your mind is open to it. Your other Venus card may tell you who or what this emotional or personal challenge will be about. Also keep in mind that a strong or powerful other Venus card, such as a 4, 8, or a 10, could mitigate the adversity of this card and bring about very positive results from a challenging situation. So what was my other card? Ten of Wands. We have Archangel Nanael here and literally is talking about God humiliating the proud. Okay? Yes, yes. Spiritual communication influences religious men, teachers, and men of law. So when I told her, I put it in writing. That's, do you see? You see? Hmm. This is the kind of black magic that I do. Okay? Yes, indeed. Okay? So let's talk about that Ten of Wands and then that's going to be the end of this. Thank you.